What's going on guys? Got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today I'm discussing The Old Man and the Gun. Old Man and the Gun is Robert Redford's final performance that's what he says now. And it's also directed by a very criminally underrated director, David Lowry, the guy who was in charge of Ghost Story last year, one of the most underrated films of that year, and he did the criminally underrated Pete's Dragon. Now, every time this guy gets signed on and do something, I'm full on board now. And this film, it was one of my most anticipated for later in the year. A lot of the reasons because it's Robert Redford and it's this director. Now, what's the old man the gun about? Well, the old man the gun's a crime drama with some small elements of romance and comedy in there. It's about a man named Forrest Tucker, played by Robert Redford, who is an old man who's robbing some banks, but at the same time, he actually meets a woman, played by Sissy Spayek, who loves him in spite of his chosen profession. And on this way, with this whole thing going down, you have Casey Affleck, who's the man in charge of trying to pursue and find out who is this guy. This movie, I'll just straight up say it, it's one of the most delightful and charming films I've seen all year long. It's right up there with Paddington 2 for me. And by the end of this movie, I left the theater with a huge smile on my face. And a lot of the things goes is that the David Lowry got the same effect that the old man leaves with every single person he robs. He always leaves them seeing and having a smile on their face. And it's the same way with this movie. The second you leave the theater, you just got a big old grin on your face, smiling and in enjoying the time that you had in this movie and my god i mean the performances in here are great sissy spake is fantastic casey affleck's good but my god robert redford as a final performance that he gives out i can totally understand why this guy blew it out of the park again playing this delightful charming man who just again brings a smile to everyone's face just like this film did and robert redford nailed it easily one of his best performances in the last couple of years i wouldn't go as far as to say it's one of his best performances because this guy is, has one of the biggest filmographies but my god he is going to be missed in hollywood the relationship that he has with sissy space character jewel in here is just a beautiful it's serenading and it's adorable to see in here and the way that it comes to light i mean they're the first scene that they meet together you just totally understand, like, I would have fallen in love with this guy. Like, just his charismatic value in this movie is just off the charts. And a lot of that, again, is Robert Redford and the way that he plays the character, but it's just so good. David Lowry directs this film in a very unique style, where this film feels like it's back in the 80s, where it's taking place it feels like an 80s film and i love that classical feel that david lowry brought to this movie it's not just the feel of it but it's also the look and the tone of the whole entire film that's just a beautifully stylized throughout this movie and not a distracting way but a very unique way that not a lot of films do and david lowry took that risk just like he did with the ghost story last year where he took a risk on how he filmed the movie he did the same thing with old man the gun and i think it paid off in so many ways this film carries one of the most beautiful serenading scores that just ties the whole film in a nice little package by the end of the movie with the sound and the music playing throughout the movie it just fits the whole film perfectly and i'll go as far as to say it's not a perfect movie it is a very enjoyable film it's a very delightful film at that i do think though it's a tad bit slow kind of in the middle of the part and i kind of found myself getting a little bit uninterested in the casey affleck detective work stuff and i kind of wish it would have just focused more on the old man and his relationship with jewel i was expecting the film to fo focus more on that and surprisingly it didn't as much as i thought it was going to be which again surprised me through the whole entire film I enjoyed this movie. It's delightful, it's charming, and it leaves, leaves you with a big smile on your face by the end of the film. It's one of those films that I really do recommend that you check out if you're just looking for a nice little time at the theaters. That's what this movie is. So with all that said, I'm going to give The Old Man and the Gun a B+. This film was great, and I am, I'm going to be sad to see Robert Redd for not acting anymore. But who knows, maybe he'll jump back in if he gets a role th handed at him. But the guy's a great actor, and he has a great filmography that you guys should definitely check out. But tell me, guys, what are your guys' thoughts on The Old Man and the Gun? Have you guys been looking forward to this film? Are you guys excited for it? Are you excited to see Robert Redford's final performance? And are you guys a fan of David Lowry? Are you, were you a fan of A Ghost Story or Pete's Dragon? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Also, if you're new here, hit up Sandwich on Films also down below, because if you guys want to see advanced movie screens, that's your way of seeing them. Plus, you guys can get into some movie news and also some movie reviews that we put up on that website. But guys, of course, until next time, stay classy.